Hello guys. For today's vlog, I will show you how to change oil the volume volume flap. How to change oil? Oil will uh, would, uh, have good, good, good water, so we need to replace that. We leave it open, and then uh, we move the jaw on the on the left hand. This the right hand, and we make it change again. Open this jaw, the other side, the left the left hand jaw. Okay, guys. In the right hand jaw, I put the angle into 180. So in the left jaw, I put it in zero. Alright guys, zero and then enter. So the jaw will move to the left hand open. And same thing we do in the we did in the left uh, in the right hand. We remove the volume flap first. And the, yeah. We remove this volume flap. Only one screw. Then we remove this number 8 on top, the two bolts. And set aside here, all the bolts over there.
So, on the other uh, volume club mechanism has no oil inside, empty. So, we need to tap up it. What about the other side here? Before we top up guys, we need to blow air at the top so that the, the remaining, uh, all the oil inside will go out. Like that. You see guys? guys now we need to tap up uh, 220 lubrication oil so guys this is a uh, Merupa 220 uh, lubrication so tap up this uh, body clap mechanism in the left hand like that we wait until the oil uh, goes out here in the top of the uh, left hand uh, door. So now I put this screw and cover also here. Like that. And move this all the clock mechanism to mix the oil inside the uh, all the clock mechanism. Alright guys, we do the others the same. So after I put it back in the uh, mold, need to tie it securely. And also this one. side we do it this side also so here to us like that okay guys now guys I do also on the other hand like that you see the oil there so it means it's full already so that's enough we need to put the screw there and this one And I tie it. Tighten. Okay. And the eight screw as well. And then I move to the other side this machine in that door I open that door and then I tap up also this hole and this one now guys I'm here on the other side of the machine and I tap up uh, the other hole the wood body cup mechanism we wait until the oil goes out in this hole
the guys, you can, you can see the oil goes out there. That's enough. It means it's full. So guys, this is the last one. Top up until uh, no bubbles remaining inside the housing. I put the bolts and tighten all the screws. The bolts to secure, not, not to become leak. the lubrication oil in the 
folding flat mechanism. Thank you guys. See you next time. How to execute external cleaning uh, this machine to clean the excess oil in the floor. We need to select the external cleaning icon. This one. And press this one. And confirm. So the machine will uh, Step up uh, arrow uh, when uh, passing, passing, press, then wait for the passing again. Internal cleaning, guys. Wait until yeah, yeah. This is uh, detergent now. You see the soap? That's the soap. All over the final folder and the jaw. So, guys, you wait until finish this external cleaning. The first before is rinsing and then detergent, post and then again uh, rinsing and final uh, final cleaning. Now we are in uh, stage three. Good evening guys for today's video I want to show you how to open and clean the two unit of uh, 8, 8 speed 8 speed uh, 1 liter that's one this one so guys I step by step uh, show you how to open it and clean So first, we need to open the two bolts that holds the, the jaw in the bracket. We need a 19 spanner. You see this guys? We need to open this bolt. Undo this bolt. Just like that. Yeah. And then also on the other side. 
this one on that other side there. Okay. So now I'm here on the other side. I need a platform, plastic platform, a secure one to, to reach the height of the jaw because it's too high to me. Like that. Slide, it means already released. Released, I mean. So we crank it down, face towards us. You see that the bolt here? Just like that. So we need to lose this one now. Other side too. All right, it's released already. So we we'll take off the crank handle and then swing the jaw towards over there. We push this one. See that? It's already disconnected and push the jaw over there. swung out now okay guys so we have uh, this is the Jew unit we have 10 Joes it means there is a link we have 10 link so we start with the zero we look for the black here to show you that's the only one with the black so that recognize that it is a sensor. You see that light? It means this is the black, the zero position. So that's the number one, number ten, or zero. Yeah, this one. So all in all, when we rotate this job, we have total link of. Uh, this is what we call uh, pressure jaw side and the other one here at the back that is a uh, ceiling jaw 
Also 10, 10 inductors. That one, inductors, would be called inductors. So guys, here, how to check the cutting net individually. So first, we press at the back of the cutting knife, the cam, and run until the knife goes out. Yeah, the other end also. Yeah, there's a spring inside, so it automatically back when you remove your hand. Yeah, so that's the first one. So we take it off. Por 
So guys, it's all done cleaning. Now I'm going to return the Joe in his uh, original position. The same with the uh, before we open it. So we put it back in now, just like that. Push the Joe in. Yeah. And then we go to the other side just to make sure that when we inserted the jaw to its original position this uh, pulley should be inserted inside properly and this, uh, this should be also inserted properly here and this one should be entered in the girl box the shop Alright guys, so now we push it in, little by little because we are using only one hand, put it back, put it the front, uh, we must uh, secure this uh, allen key, this, uh, what do you call that, parallel key, Inserted in this uh, groove, center to that one, yeah, like that, like that, guys. Now the uh, parallel key, center to the groove, and the disc also center to that uh, supporting uh, disc, the drive, and. Uh, the volume adjuster this is the one volume adjuster and this is the design correction and this is the main drive shaft this is a gearbox so we insert it now push it in push it in oh, and then it starts this in the bracket here and then you secure the bolt over there this bolt and put it in Alright guys So now guys I'm going to tighten the bolt now I will do this first and then after the dry shot Insert it properly in the bracket. Hold tight. After we tighten this 19, we go to the drive shop, the Allen K6, we tighten also this one, we make it equally tightened, so that the shop will uh, 
correctly fitted in the gearbox. And no wiggle. No any wiggle. Tight. Full tight. Yes. And then try to crank it. There's a uh, hard thing to crank. Looks good. And then we type also one, one more bolt on the other side. After this tighten everything all the bolts uh, we do a referencing of the job. So we need to close all the doors even in a cyclic chamber on the upper side of this uh, machine we need to close it and then we reset all the alarms to reference the job. And also we set the volume adjuster as well. Alright guys, it's all done. The job. So time for referencing now. So now already all I close the door. We need to set reset all the alarms in the panel. Like that, the job. So the job now asking for reference because we swung at before. So we need to go to the service switch and enter the password.
So how to how to reference the volume adjuster? You go to the service. But the volume adjuster is not highlighted. So what we can do now? To highlight this one, we need to open the door. Alright guys, I opened this door. So we can see that if the volume adjuster icon will uh, going to highlight. Alright now, so highlight it. We need to select it. Select. Then there is a button here, confirm. It should be moving in the home position also. We will see. Press. Now in a home position. Already green, it means confirm. It's all done. So we already finished the volume adjuster. So to clean the door again, we need to use uh, external cleaning. With the automatic cleaning of the machine. So, what we can do now, we select the external cleaning. Yes. Uh, but, we need to step down again this program to, to go to CIP. To go to CIP mode. See, I highlighted now, plastic. Enter, up. So now it's CIP, so we can uh, external now to clean the door and all the grease will be clean. Open. Okay, the door will run. select the external select so it flashes when I check this one this uh, flashing uh, icon should be fixed see now rinsing the machine rinsing alright guys that's all for today I hope you understand and uh, follow what I said. See you again next time. But please don't forget to subscribe and like to my uh, videos. And see you again next time guys. Thank you. And bye bye. Good evening guys. For today's vlog. Uh, we talk about the service unit. Uh, like water and uh, here supply of the 50 speed machine for one liter so first of all we need to open this door and we will see inside the filters and the compressor the cooling water Alright guys, already opened the service unit, so this is the main filter, water filter of the machine, and these are all the flow meters, and this is the filter for the cooling, and this is also a filter for the UV light, compressor, uh, the the motor and the compressor and all the switches.
So now we need to open this one and this one and we check the filter inside if it's still okay or we need to clean or replace. Alright guys. So, so how to open this filter? We need to use this uh, tools. This one. But before, but before the, we open it, we need to close first the main water supply. So we need to close the valve over here. We need the main water uh, inlet. So we need to close it. Uh, just like that. Close also the other one. to clean this filter, both filter. Alright, it's already close. So the pressure gauge is all going down to zero. So it means no more pressure inside. So we can open now. So just like that, open the filter. See guys? Fresh air to remove the rusty particles. Open also the other one here and make sure that the o ring is still there. The o ring, the black one. It's the gasket, I mean, the gasket. Careful not to fall in the gasket. If we sit it properly, here, like that. So now we need to clean this one and then put it back in. Looks like that's uh, pretty bad. Oh, see, sorry. So now I'm gonna open the water in a filter. Just like that. Okay. Too hard. Looks good. The filter is still white color. So, does it look bad? Still okay, but we need to clean it in there. Also, through it inside. like that and set aside here yeah. and then also we open this uh, other one filter from the filter to UV so now I remove we check it does it look bad it's still okay just we need to wash it only and put it back in I cleaned them already. I rinsed in the water and uh, now it's uh, look good. So before anything else, before we put it back, guys, make sure that the gasket is here. You see it properly inside because sometimes this is the cause of uh, leaking. So before to put it back in, it should be in a good place. Same thing in this blue filter, guys. See, it's not not seated properly, so we need to check it always when we turn it back. Otherwise, you encounter the leaking during production. 
and remove the pressure on the cooling system. So how to put it back? Put the filters inside the housing and then slowly tight in the thread slowly slowly on it just like that also the other one for the UV Then we can tighten that one using this uh, tool. Okay, guys. So I'm going to tighten now, like that. Move counterclockwise, tight by hand. Okay, that's alright. The other one too. I don't have stand, uh, camera stand. That's why it's hard for me to take a camera, uh, the video with the one hand only. Also this one for the UV side. Yeah. Control your hand, your force, not to break the bracket or some other part. So guys, this is the pressure for the UV. And this is the pressure for the main circulation, fully uh, circulation. The symbol is a holy circulation. This is the PS, left and right. This is the final folder for the LS, long digital ceiling, and for the SA, strip applicator. And this is for the circulation for all uh, supply of cooling water. And this is the pressure gauge, the incoming water, and this is the expansion lamp. Alright, guys. So next, we need to put this one and ten to the main water, main water supply. So how to put this one? Insert this one here, like that. Sit properly. And be sure to check the gasket if it's sitting properly inside. It looks good. Then insert here. Like that by hand. Tighten by hand only. Because it's plastic. Maybe we can break it if it's too tight. Other one too. Now the pressure is zero. When I open the main uh, line, this one, it should be at least uh, four bars. You see that, guys? At least four bars. One. So I open it now and check for leaking. Sometimes it's 
moving down to 2 bars but still ok 2 to 4, 2 to 5, 2 to 6 is ok the minimum is 2 bars the machine will uh, still running in the 2 bars so we open also the other one so now uh, 3 bars and check for any sign of leaking but doesn't have alright also this one here so the pressure now here is 3 bars but still no no pressure on the flow meters because the compressor is still not running when we reset the program in the panel the motor will run and step up to CIP or external or preparation the compressor will run and the multimedia multimedia motor as well this is the pressure for the UV light yeah and supply to the millipore for distilled water all right guys uh, that's all for tonight I hope you enjoy watching for my bag on how to replace the filter or clean the filter open and close the filters that's all guys thank you very much see you next time again bye bye good evening guys
bolts. The thirteen bolts over here. The four bolts. We need to lose that to take it out this uh, cover. Right guys?
been okay. That's too much of that. So I put back all the clamps now and the gates face towards us, towards, towards here outside. Yeah. 